Hello again, um, today I'm going to tie a basic green buzzer. I'll be using a, an Anglian water hook, a Super Grub in size 8. I'm just going to make sure it's secured in the vise. Good heavy hook, will get your fly down very quickly. I'm using olive thread, it's pre waxed and it's the 140 grain. Now I'm going to cast on at the head and Instead of snipping the pig's tail away, I'm going to use it to help me get nice touching turns down the length of my hook. As I get near the bottom where I'm going to finish, I'll just take the pig's tail away and I'll finish off just with a couple of turns like so. Now I'm not too worried, I can see that there is a little bit of fluff sticking up just here but I'm not overly concerned. Uh, I'll cover that on my next wrap. Uh, I've already pre-stripped a piece of peacock herald. This one's been dyed black. You can buy them pre-stripped. Um, I don't bother. Yeah. My fingernails work perfectly well or a rubber does the same job. Again, I'm going to take particular care coming back up the hook. Uh, and I'm going to just go back down. Not quite to the bottom this time. Uh, I want it to be tapered slightly. I'm going to come back up again. To the top. Now you can just um, turn the peacock herald with your hands, but as I've said about dyed peacock in another video, it can be quite delicate. So I'm just going to use some hackle pliers to turn that. taking quite a lot of care trying just to get my segments as even as I can uh, as I get up near the end I like to just space them out ever so slightly once I've got them up to where I'm going to go I'll just lock that in place. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the, the little bits that were sticking there because I'm going to cover them up shortly, shortly. Uh, just wrap thread. I'm just bulking up the thorax now. Not overly concerned uh, with the tidiness of it at this point. Now, I use goose bites for my cheeks because you can buy lots of different colours and they're very vibrant and dyed. Um, I've already trimmed up two feathers so they're nice and even. I'm going to lay it on, excuse my fingers, just slightly back from the hook. one and on this side same thing now you can determine what size you want your thorax to be I like mine quite big I like to see quite a lot of color at the front of the fly uh, because we're using the 140 thread it doesn't take very long at all to build up a good thorax and tying in the big chunky bits of goose by it all helps
as you can see it's getting quite bulbous at the top and I'm just going to work that to the end now I always take the goose bike nearest me first I'm going to pull it round and over and I just take it over the eye and pointing like so now once I've used a couple of wraps of thread to secure that in just going to trim that away now you can see it's not trimmed particularly closely at this point try and get as much of it out of the way as I can but again we'll be able to cover that up later next take the tip of the other bayet pull that round and over towards me this time once I've got that locked in I'll remove as much as possible with the scissors what I can't remove I am going to cover up with my thread now you do you do cover a bit of the eye up doing this but it doesn't make any difference because it's such a large hook it will make no difference to threading your nylon through put several half hitches into that now if I was in a hurry I would use bug bond um, to build up quite a, a varnished layer um, during the winter when I'm in no hurry um, to tie reservoir flies I prefer just to varnish them um, Sally Hansen hard as nails just give it a real good coating now normally I would be turning the fly so I could see that I'd got a nice even coat all the way round but I don't want it to go out of focus um, once you've done that it's always worth just popping a dubbing needle through the eye just to clear it uh, an old hackle feather run through that will clear all that and there we have a fairly basic buzzer. I would give that at least four or five coats of Sally Hansen and it becomes quite a bulky fly but it also becomes super heavy so it's ideal for uh, a point fly if you want to get deep or indeed if you're fishing the bung it, it gets the rest of your team down very fast. Thanks very much for watching.